Hi everyone, Simon here again, episode 5 of Love Me Long Time. First of all, apologies. Today we have a party two fields over at that end of the house. Neighbour's son going to the monks. So, talking and music. It's morning, the cockerels are making a lot of noise. The builders in there not doing the room. The cats are around. Mem's over there on the phone. So there's nowhere quiet in the house to record. Plus I'm waiting for a subscriber to visit to who's coming to stay for a couple of days, so we we'll just have to ignore the background. Noise and go with it. Where did we leave it? Angela, the saleswoman, had shown Gary around this super duplex condo down in Phuket, the other side, side of Kata Beach, Karong Beach is it pronounced, in Phuket. B, the girl, the fashion girl, was over the moon because Gary had just offered her some money, a hundred thousand baht commission, so that she was on par with Angela's commission. What a nice guy. Now remember before I mentioned that his salary was fifty thousand dollars a day, clear, after all his taxes and everything. So that's about 1.75 million baht a day. So to him, this condo, 15 million baht, was like a week salary. He uh, had just told B to go ahead with the purchase and they'd left the condo and gone off for a walk. So B said, let me ring Angela, confirm you're gonna buy it so he doesn't sell it to anyone else. Not that there's buyers queuing up because it's this time of year these are expensive condos and Gary says to uh, B get it done I'll uh, talk to my PA or we'll talk to them today I'll introduce you and then you can arrange it with Angela one of the things I don't like doing is physically moving boxes and stuff he said I just want to snap my fingers and it's done so I need someone to move my stuff, even though it's just a few suitcases from that condo to this one. When can I get in? And let's just let it happen. Get it to happen. B jumps on the phone to Angela. Angela, yeah, price is right. Gary wants it. We'll sort out. Let me know the bank details, the company, and all the rest of it. And we'll get... Gary hooked up with a lawyer, with his lawyers and a lawyer here or whatever to get it all done. Angela's over the moon. She's just earned 100,000 baht. Absolutely over the moon. And she's like, oh, I'd love to celebrate this with you. B hasn't told her that she's also getting a kickback. Why not? Angela might say, here's some money for you. Angela's like, oh, let's go out and celebrate. And B's like, well, okay, let me come back to you on that one when and where. Um, but get me all the details and we'll sort it all out. So all done and dusted. And also B says, how quick can we get Gary into the new condo? And Angela's, well, just the paperwork and then it's ready to go now. Okay, B said, we'll figure it out and get it done over the next couple of days. Get it done quick. Brilliant. Angela's over the moon. She's got a sale of the most expensive condo on the complex. Just like that. A cash buyer. Wonderful. Gary is with B and he's like, I'm having more fun here, this trip, with you over these only two days they've known each other than all my running around bars trying to find women, the partner the mother of my children for the future. And B's like, great, fantastic. Anyway, they have a wander around. They're gonna walk around the area, look what's about. 
but it's quite hot. And B says to Gary, I need to go and check on the shop and see how the girl's doing, see what's going on. And Gary says, well, okay. By the time we get down there and done that, it's going to be close on lunchtime. We go get some food after. Okay. So they get a song tell again. Down into the main town and, uh, well, no, she's her shop's in uh, Caron Beach. So it's not far away. It's almost at the town. Gets down there, shop, girl's fine, sales are okay. All good. And they're like, Let's go and find some food. And uh, bees. I know restaurant not far from here. I think you'll like it. We'll go there. All right. Off they go. And bees chatting away to him. She says, "That's a good buy. That condo. I really think those because of where they're situated and there's not much land up there for sale, and it's a popular." high-end part of the Phuket Island um, those are going to go up in value they're a really great investment well, when you say investment to Gary he's you know he's the money's falling into his bank every day but I suppose being a business guy the word investment if there's potentially more money to be had he's going to look at it and he starts asking B about these condos what's the law in Thailand and how many can you buy and all the rest of it and B says what well, 51% has got to be Thai owned 49% can be foreign owned you never own the land but uh, and then there's charges for the upkeep obviously so you could potentially own 49% and there's five blocks 10 stories I think they are but some are duplex so there's about 40 condos there uh, so maybe 18 condos 19 condos can be foreigner and Gary's like well I'll talk to my lawyer he said maybe that's an investment to buy some more of those and is there money to be made renting new condos out and B's like pitching yes long term you can invest in them rent them out the value is going to go up you can't really lose and you just have someone take care of them arrange whatever they want whether they want cleaning service and everything else and collect the monies and just move it about and he's like hmm how much money do you make in your shop in a month and B's like mm, I usually sell about 2,000 baht a day with a profit of about 25 percent it's not great so he does the maths 60,000 baht a month 15,000 baht a month profit you're on a salary of about 15,000 baht she said yeah it's not brilliant um, I could work in a factory and get that but I'm my own boss but you get some days where people come in and spend 5,000 baht on women's clothes that they're never going to use <laughs> and he laughs he said uh, is that what you want to do forever and she said, no, I just want, like, being my own boss and I want to earn my own money. I've got a child and a bigger family. I send money home as well. And, he's, and you live in a basic room or she said, I share with another girl. We've got a, a room-type condo, but it's, yeah. And he, she, he says, when do you see a child? And I don't know if it's a boy or a girl, and I don't know how old, but... She says once a month, I believe her family's crabby and her child is in crabby, so it's not far. Once a month, go home and uh, take money and see everybody. He said, that's, that's hard. You're working six days a week. She goes seven most of the time. So I can have a couple of days off at the end of the month. He's like, wow, you work hard. He said, Thai people really work hard, but not for a lot of money. And she said, yeah, but we make do. We get by. And he, you can see, well, he can just work out, his brain's clicking away. If he's going to make an investment in Thailand business-wise, he needs someone to look after it. But his objective is to get a woman 
to have babies with him so and get siblings in his mind he's now oh Angela or do I get a woman like B says have kids and pay her off and take the kids home his brains like tick 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 off they go lunch and then in the afternoon he said right condo let's get this lawyer sorted out let me talk to my PA introduce you get a video call and set this all up yep okay off they go to his condo gets his laptop out gets it all hooked up onto his lawyers and you can imagine his lawyers jump regardless of time difference whatever it is they just like 24 7 work for him gets on to them tells them what he's done the details have come through from Angela to B passes them on to Gary forwards them he said right make it happen guys buy that condo get it done quick I want to move in in a couple of days and then he sorts it or they sort it he then gets on to his PA introduces B to his PA and he says to his PA whatever her name is I'm possibly going to do some business here in Thailand and B's going to be my PA in Thailand I want you to hook to, to hook up he said I'll let you know how far we're going to go with this introduce them had a quick chat done jumping forward B later on heads back to the shop next day she goes in the shop he says he's going to have a day having a nosy round a couple of days he said he'll hook up with her in a few days great while he's on those on the laptop he transfers gets B's bank details give me all the details here you go so and he pays us there's your hundred thousand baht I promised you 10,000 baht I think it was for the day he said look there's 150,000 baht bang into your account give me a couple of days he said and then get your girl to run your shop for a few days and we'll look at some business ideas and she's like over the moon oh my he's just put 150,000 baht in a bank he says maybe you want to dive home for a couple of days and then we'll catch up what do you reckon get the girls to run your shop dive around for two days come back and then come and see me give me a bell she's like click 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 that's wicked yeah fabulous off she goes his brain now is still to Angela in his mind he's thinking how can I she was just beautiful she's a businesswoman he's thinking how can I buy her she wants to celebrate the sale he wants B to come back hook it all up they have to go out all together what can he do could he buy her is that good or bad as in could he get rid of the Thai boyfriend he needs to talk to B he needs to understand Thai culture he needs to understand what he can and can't do there is it possible and he doesn't even know Angela but that's going through his mind let's fast forward a couple of days B's back she's got the girl running the shop gets hold of him first thing in the morning breakfast fabulous off they go he goes down to his breakfast place she meets him she tells him Angela's been on the phone the money's all gone through the deal's done condo's his in two days condo's his so his people really move he's got to sign some paperwork um, in Thailand so about another day so that day they're going to have to go and sign some paperwork and stuff and get it sorted he tells her about his liking for Angela just for the fact she's beautiful and he wants to hook up for a meal he says leave it with me let's get this paperwork done today maybe we can get a meal tonight or tomorrow and we'll look at it from there but he's also thinking that she rather likes Gary now oh dear I'm going to leave it there see you soon bye